Would you class yourself or maybe someone that you know as emotionally unavailable? Well, in this video, I'm going to be going through five of the biggest reasons why many people are emotionally unavailable and what we can do about it to support you or maybe them. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Simon Lovell, bringing you growth to support your highest potential. As always, if you could like the video, if you enjoy it, and also comment below on your thoughts and feelings. Why? Because it really helps me to help more people with how YouTube you know, does all of that around the interaction. So thank you. Uh, also, if you've subscribed and hit that little bell thing too. So emotional availability. Why is it really important? You know, I can remember a time in my life where I was just so closed off and guarded and I just feel, I don't know, more free now, right? Because I've worked on my emotional intelligence and my emotional availability. And so hopefully this will support you or maybe someone that you know. Now, of course, the impact on emotional intelligence and emotional availability is that, you know, in relationships, our partners, the people that we're with, are going to feel more connected and that's incredibly important if you're noticing that the people that you love maybe friends and family members are starting to become more disconnected then it could be down to your own emotional availability right and uh, emotional um you know knowledge of oneself the other part you know in business and career and entrepreneurship you know for example i work with a lot of uh, business owners is that we need to be able to show ourselves in a certain way and be authentic and vulnerable. And that comes from our emotions and how, how emotionally available we are. And so this is incredibly important to be a focus point of our lives so that we can have a better connection, yes, with other people, but also a better and superior connection with ourselves. So number one, one of the biggest reasons why we are emotionally unavailable is because of suppression and protection. So maybe you feel something, but you don't want to express that. And so you suppress it. Why? Because maybe there's a fear there. And so it's important to address that. Put into the comments below or even just make a note and think to yourself, OK, if I'm to express what I feel and I feel that kind of emotion coming up, but I, I push it down, why don't I allow it to come up? What's a fear? What am I protecting myself from? Okay. Now, the other thing to mention too, which is our environment and the people that we're around is incredibly, incredibly important. Because if you're shut down by people, right, or you have been shut down in the past, of course, that's going to impact your own emotional availability to be able to express yourself. Okay. Number two, which is fear. For those that I've experienced that are very tight, that are very, um, you know, rigid in themselves and there's just little kind of wiggle room and softness, right? Typically, I know and I can address that there's some kind of fear that's there. And of course, this is tied into number one, right, which is the suppression. So these are kind of linked together, which is important to notice. So what's the fear? We've got to address what the fear is. And of course, that fear sometimes may be just in the moment, but sometimes that's an underlying fear that is just being so wired in from a thought pattern. All right. Number three, which is maybe it's the wrong relationship or it's the wrong relationship at the wrong time or the right relationship at the wrong time. Right. So. We have to have awareness sometimes. Again, that's tied back to fear. So if you're emotionally unavailable, you may have shut yourself down to the possibility of opening up and through someone else's communication because of the way that they communicate with you, their tone, whatever that is, you have stopped opening up. All right. You know, one of the things that I've always said, which is, you know, no matter what relationship I move into, right? with whatever ends, I'm always going to open up my heart. Why? Because I know if I close myself off the next time, that's going to impact 
not just myself, but also the people that I care about. And sometimes in family dynamics, for example, we've shut ourselves down. Why? Because we create a thought in our head that maybe that person's the same. And so we've got to become conscious about that. We have to become self-aware around that. It's incredibly important so that we give ourselves our own gift of opening up and sharing our hearts, which is what, it, what it's about, right? Going from our head and actually living from that heart place because your heart wants to be emotional. It is emotional, right? It is emotion. So the next one too, which is mistaught self-expression and communication. So when I was growing up and I went to school, I wasn't, talk about, I wasn't taught rather how to express myself or communicate effectively. And so if there's one thing that breaks down relationships, it's a lack of communication. And that communi communication comes from our own expression. But if we've made it wrong not to express ourselves, because if we do, then something's gonna happen or something's gonna be bad, we are actually going against our nature, right? We're going against what our body is telling us that it needs. It needs to express, it needs to get something out. It needs to um, you know, show this for a reason. And sometimes we forget that. We forget that the reason why this is coming up is for a reason. And sometimes we're afraid of a reaction. Are you afraid of a reaction? Post into the comments below. I'd love to find out. The final one, which is sometimes people aren't emotionally available because they lie and they're dishonest. It is one hell of a courageous thing to start to actually get through our own emotional blocks to actually hold our hands up and say, do you know what? I've spent a lot of my life as a liar, and I've spent a lot of my life dishonest, did not dishonest to other people. But do you know what happens when we're dishonest to other people? We're also just lying to ourselves. And every time that we tell a lie, every time that we're dishonest, we just go out of alignment. And if there's one thing I know to be true around people's own lack of alignment, it's around that dishonesty. And, you know, for, for some reasons, Sometimes we, we can, you know, be dishonest. But the challenge is, is that sometimes while, you know, you can do it in a moment, you can also train that behavior of dishonesty. And then what ends up happening is you, you live your life as a lie. You live your life as dishonest, right? Because you do it once and then you'll do it again. You do it another time and then you do it again. And then it just, then you just actually end up believing that your life is real when actually you're just lying to everybody. You're lying to yourself. You're dishonest to everyone. You're dishonest to yourself because you, and, and this was me too, in a, in a stage of my life, which is you don't want to accept the reality of who you are because it's scary to look at that. It's scary to look at yourself in the mirror when you are acting in a certain way and, and being a certain way. So, what do we do about it? Well, first, it's important to have, it, have awareness, which is why I've given you these five. Which one resonates with you? Post into the comments below. And then we can start to get help. We can start to learn about meditation. We can start to hire mentors and coaches and, and be able to actually get through that so that we can become more emotionally available. And that comes from trust. It comes from being given the permission to, to, to be yourself and know yourself, which comes from your values and understanding yourself. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, do you know what? I want to master this. I want to master my emotions. Then head to Modern Spiritual Man. You can click the Hire Simon button. And if there's availability there, then we can potentially jump on a call. Also, as go to the program section and you can go to Entrepreneur Evolution if you're an entrepreneur or business owner or to Extraordinary. If you're someone that just wants to go through a seven day challenge and that's going to start to open you up, right? It's going to start to open you up, but don't do nothing. Don't watch this video and have something resonate with you and then you not take a specific action moving forward because otherwise you will continue to be emotionally unavailable and the only person that that is destroying is you. And I can tell you now from being and coming on the other side and being emotionally available and showing my emotions and still knowing that 
I'm in my power doing that. It's, it is that, it is power. But we, we think that and we create the illusion that if, I'm, if I show my emotions, if I am emotional, right, then there's something wrong with that. And that's sad. So I've got a couple of videos coming up for you. Check these out to support you on your journey. And I'll see you very soon. This is Simon Lovell, Modern Spiritual Man, and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If so, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get the regular updates. Also, here's a couple of videos that may support you further in your journey. Also, head to modernspiritualman.com where you will find about my deep mission to support men all over the globe. Take it easy and I'll see you very soon.